Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will learn about web workers and what it can do for us. If you are not familiar with web workers, that's fine too, because we will go through a simple exercise to understand why we need web workers and then we will write one. I have created a simple HTML file to understand web workers and it has two features. The first one checks for the prime number till the given number. So if I type 10, it will check all the prime numbers till 10 and the second one converts the fraction to percentage. So if I type two and if I type five, it converts this into percentage. And I have taken this definition from Mozilla, but we'll come to this definition later. JavaScript is single threaded, which means that I can only do one thing at a time. So if I'm checking for prime numbers, I cannot check for fraction to percentage unless the function execution for finding prime numbers is complete. And I have written this prime numbers functionality in such a way that it takes a lot of time for big numbers. So if I give a small number like 4000, it will be completed in a second. But let's say if I give a big number like 500,000, it will take some time. And as a user, I cannot do anything. I cannot check for fraction to percentage and basically I'm stuck and eventually we will get a page responsive pop-up. So the pop-up should come up anytime now. Now the question here is how we can improve the performance of this page. Since the processing of prime numbers is a very intensive task, what if we can move this functionality to the background? This means that when the user clicks on find prime button, we can process the prime numbers quietly in the background. And once the processing is done in the background, we can then show the results on the HTML page. This way, as a user, I'm not blocked and I can continue to interact with the HTML page. A web worker does the exactly same for us. And it is part of browser feature and not the JavaScript engine. It loads the script that needs to run in the background. Take a moment to read this definition and then we will first see how I have written the HTML page and the associated JavaScript and then write a web worker. I have written a simple HTML page and upon clicking of this button find primes, I am invoking this find primes function and I am passing the value of input in it. And for converting the fraction to percentage, I am invoking this find percentage function and passing on both the numbers here. And this is my main JavaScript file where I have all the functions defined. And this is the function find prime and is prime. These are the functions that we want to run in the background. So we will now write a worker thread that will process this in the background. So I'm going to create a new JavaScript file primes.js and then I'm going to copy and paste these two functions to this new JavaScript file. Then I will go to this main.js and I will define a variable where worker. And then I would also define a function start. And we will invoke this function as soon as the script is loaded. Inside this start function, I will check if my browser supports the web worker. So window.worker, this means that my browser supports web workers and here I'm going to create a new instance of a web worker. So new worker and then prime.js because we want to run this script in the background. Now I would define a function post message to worker and I will pass the value in it and I'll go to index.html and instead of calling find primes, I will use post message to worker. Now from this function, we will need to post a message to the worker thread that we want to process this value. So we will do if worker, then we will post message 
otherwise we will give an alert message that web workers are not supported please try a new browser now in order to post a message to the worker thread all you have to do is worker dot post message and the value that's it now let's go to prime start js and in order to listen to the messages posted by the main thread all we have to do is this self dot on message is equal to function message and then here we want to call this find primes function so find primes and you have to do message dot data we did message dot data because the actual value is wrapped inside this data now from this find primes we will have to post the message back to the main thread once the processing is complete so all we have to do is self dot post message and then we will pass the primes that's it in order to listen to the messages sent by the background thread or the worker thread we have to attach an event listener so all we have to do is worker dot add event listener and then message and then pass the callback function here so let's go back to prime start js and we should never manipulate the dom from the worker thread we should always set it from the main javascript file or the main thread so i will copy and paste this from here and put it here and then i'm going to copy and paste these two and put it here so as soon as we receive the message we want to set the value so all we have to do is message dot data let's go back to this prime star js and then here instead of posting the array i would post the length of this array so prime start length i would get rid of this console.log and i will move this condition to main javascript file as well so let's go back here and we will do if value is greater than zero otherwise we will show an alert message that please provide a valid number please that's it we have finished writing the worker now let's try it out in order to test the html file locally with your chrome browser you'll have to open the google chrome browser like this so you would need to pass this allow file access from files flag otherwise web workers won't work let's type a small number here like 500 and let's see whether it works or not so it works now let's give a big number like 550,000 and find primes now it works and let's give a much bigger number 500,000 it's still processing and as a user I can still interact with my page so I can continue to interact even though this worker is running and processing the result for us in order to further improve the performance I'm going to convert this is prime function to a memoized function 
So I'm going to copy and paste the memoize function that we have learned in another video. And I will do const memoize is prime equal to memoize. And then I will pass the callback function is prime. And instead of using is prime, I'm going to check it with memoize is prime function. Now let's test out how much performance we have achieved with the memoized functions. So I'm going to type 10,000 here and for the first time we will see that it will take some time. So it should be done in yes. So 1 to 2 9. Upon the second invocation we should see a much improved performance. So if I try it again it is coming up in a second. So with memoized functions in combination with web workers, you can achieve much greater performance. I hope that now you have much better understanding of web workers and you can now start using or start thinking about using web workers in your projects. I'm going to share some links in the description. So please check it out. If you like this video, please share it with the others and I will see you in the next video.